What's good YouTube, it's your boy, Mr. Lost Fitness. Today is push day phase one. Like last week we did push day phase two. Um, we can cast that as like a trial, just to see how the program is. Um, but today we start the road hit. Um, we'll be tracking everything, my reps, sets, and the weight I use throughout. I'm gonna be tracking it for the next 12 plus weeks. Um, see if I can get stronger, which is the key, get stronger and also finish the year strong with my physique. I don't want to be putting on too much excess body fat. Um, I don't want to get fat anymore if you want to class it as that. Um, I just want to look good and feel good throughout the year. Um, but I want to get stronger, so that's a key for me. And yeah, that's it. And find a diet that I'm consistent with, which is the keto diet. Keto diet is the one diet that I'm always consistent with. When it, gets, it comes to carbs, I'm terrible. But anyways, it's 6 o'clock in the morning, we got push day phase 1 and we've got first exercise is incline but before that, because it's winter time, it's cold uh, I'm going to be doing like 5 minutes of skipping, I'm going to put a timer on my phone for 5 minutes, skipping and then do a couple push-ups as well So skip, when I stop, skip, 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 until it stops do a couple push-ups, get back up, skip, 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 skip and um, do that for like 5 to 10 minutes until I feel like, okay, I'm about to break a sweat and don't want to use too much energy on the warm-up until I break a sweat and then I'll go and start with my incline do a couple warm-up sets and then get into the actual thing I want to have my phone with me to, to go into notes and write down everything that I need to and then after that when I go home today I will put everything in my computer so that way I always have it tracked you know normally Back in the day, I'll write it down the old school way, but obviously now we've got computers and everything and notebooks. I'm pretty bad. Sometimes I leave them in the gym, sometimes I lose them. Don't remember which notebook I used. So I feel like this is the best way for me to do it. And it's also good for me to, because obviously on a, being an online coach is something that I really want to pursue and be better at it as well. So why not start with myself, um, documenting things, seeing which, what exercises work, what haven't worked, what kind of diets work, what doesn't work. Um, so I'm excited about this. Today I actually hopped out of my bed. Um, I literally went to sleep at like 2 in the morning. It's now 6 o'clock. Um, so not much sleep, but again, got to do what I got to do. Um, and after this workout, I'm going to go help my little brother. He's moving. So yeah, today's going to be kind of a physical day. And I've also got cardio to do today as well. But anyways, enough talking. Let's get into this workout. Let's start with the skipping and push-ups. Let's go.
Uh, that's it. That's it for the workout. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, feels good tracking everything and also tracking my rest. This is probably the first time I've ever like tracked my rest um, using my phone. And <laughs> I rested 33 minutes in total. So that shows you how much of the workout is actually work and rest. And I was only resting like maximum 75 seconds. You know, some people rest two to three minutes. Imagine how much of a workout they actually do if they're in, in and out in the gym within an hour. Most of the time it's only like a 15, 20 minute actual workout. Um, but yeah, it was good tracking, you know, tracking my numbers. Hopefully within the next 12 to 16 weeks, we get stronger and to start seeing some results. Again, you know, this is the beginning. I'm enjoying it so far. Um, we did a little trial a couple of days, like I said at the beginning, um, but today is like the official first day of tracking everything. Um, key points from now on is basically staying disciplined with the tracking, you know, consistency, which I really don't have a problem with when it comes to the gym, but also, but most importantly, the tracking is the most important thing that I need to do. Um, consistency tracking, trying to improve as well in the gym, you know, whether it is in reps or sets or how reducing my rest time, you know, stuff like that. As long as I'm making progress, um, we're all good. Of course, my nutrition is number one because yeah, without good nutrition, all this is pointless. Um, but yeah, that's my ultimate goal is to be the best natural bodybuilder in Denmark. That's what I have in my mind. And I'm gonna do everything I can to get as close as I can. Even if I get 50% of that, I'll still be proud, you know what I mean? But I just feel like when you have a goal, you go aim for the sky. You know, just saying I wanna look good. It's very easy just to say, ah, whatever. I don't wanna do it no more. Because the goal is not high enough, but when it's like, boom, you know, I want to be the best in a country or in a nation, in the world. You know, that drive and desire is always going to keep pushing you towards that. And even if you get half of that, 15% of that, it's still better than nothing. So, yeah, we're going to go home now. <sighs> do a little bit of drawing and all that stuff that I do outside of fitness. But, yeah, that's the video for today. Thank you for watching. Make sure to smash the thumbs up. If you ain't already subscribed, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Love life. Love life. Love life.